Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to do a mini jeans haul. And I say mini because I just have three pairs of jeans right here. Two of them are the premium wedgie icon fit jeans from Levi's. And then one of them is a Zara mom fit jean. And I think it's the Z1, I don't have my phone on me, but it's like a Z1975, something like that, Z1925. I'll try to correct it right here, but it's something along those lines. They have a lot of jean styles with that number, but these are specifically the comfort mom fit jeans. But these jeans right here, the Levi Wedgie and the Zara mom fit jeans are very similar. I'll talk about the differences as well. And they're probably the best jeans I have ever owned or worn. I will say that your opinion of these jeans and how you like them will depend on what it is you're looking for and your body type. So I was looking for a jean that, well, there were like a few boxes that I wanted to check. Like I was on a hunt for a perfect pair of jeans. I asked two of my friends, they always have like the best jeans. And I asked them like, where do you guys get your jeans? Cause you guys have, your jeans are just, exactly what I'm looking for. And so they recommended Zara and then the Levi Wedgie. So I went on a hunt, tried the wedgies off of Amazon, loved them so much, got them in a black pair. And then I decided to try the Moffat jeans at Zara. Didn't like the first pair I got, went to the store yesterday at Zara, loved those. I will say that I had someone try the wedgie Levi's right here and they were more curvy, curvier than I am and they, we're not crazy about it. So it depends, I guess, on your body type and what it is you're looking for. I am 5'6". I have a shorter torso and like longer legs, but I think I don't think that's it. I think for me more so, I'm more like a boxy type. Like I don't really have any curves. It is what it is. So these jeans were literally exactly what I was looking for. Like they accentuate the touch in the best way possible. They're high-waisted kind of like keep everything in and they are a tapered leg meaning they're not too skinny they're not like a skinny jean by any means and they're not a straight like a true straight leg so they kind of taper for me i guess this also depends on your body type like if you have more curves here or if you have less curves if you're like skinnier legs then they might fit a little bit more loose but for me they fit pretty tight from the waist i would say up to like mid thigh and then they kind of loosen up and taper so they will fit differently depending on your body type your measurements all of that just keep that in mind i personally think these are the best jeans i've ever tried but again that's going to vary greatly from person to person both the levi and the zara jeans are very similar they both are 99 percent cotton one percent elastane you can see that they have like a little when you touch them kind of pull the meat they have like a little tiny bit of stretch but not a lot of stretch. I actually wanted a very structured jean and these are pretty structured, which is exactly what I was looking for. Like they're not stretchy. I don't like my straight leg jeans to be stretchy. I like when my skinny jeans are stretchy just because they feel more comfortable, but jeans like this that are like mom jeans, dad jeans, I like them to be pretty structured and kind of like they have a stiff original jean material, which is exactly what all of these are. So they're pretty stiff. They're not thick. They are like medium weight. They're not thick. I would probably say they're on the thinner side, like when you actually touch the jean material. It just feels like a regular jean material. And I almost want to say that the Levi Wedgies, that these are the premiums. So I have the Wedgie Icon and Premium. I'm not sure about the non-premium, like I, don't, I can't say, which I'll talk about in a little bit. But I want to say that the Premium Wedgies in the Zara, the material is probably identical. Like the color is different, obviously but the material itself is just so similar. I'm like peeping over there, hey. It's so similar, almost feels like the exact same jean material. The only difference is I would say how they fit around the tush and the waist. And then other differences are the wedgie has button fly, Zara has zip fly, which I actually prefer the zip fly because with button fly, it can almost add a little bit of bulk to the midsection right here, which some people don't like. I don't mind, I'm not crazy about button flies. I do prefer zip fly, but I just love how these look from behind so much that, you know, I'm willing to like forego that. But the Zara jeans do fit better in the front. Like I think it's mainly because of the zip fly. They kind of like compress everything a little bit more. You don't feel like you're being suffocated, but it's definitely more flattering in the pooch section, which I don't even like calling it a pooch because I feel like we as women, we have our organs here. This is just how we're built. Like it's totally normal to not be 
flat like a wall in the front. You know, you have like your all these organs here, your uterus. But you know, sometimes you do want a little bit of support in that area. So I do think that the Zara ones offer that versus the Levi's. They do offer a little bit of, you know, compression in the front, kind of like keeping it in, but because it's a button fly, it's more so kind of like makes it stick out a little bit. So that's something to keep in mind. But in the back, I feel like these wedgie jeans fit amazing. So, so those are just some similarities and differences for anybody. Kind of like a little background for people that might be looking for something similar, just so you know. So I'm gonna go ahead and try them on. I'm gonna start off with the Levi wedgies, and these are, I think these are Tangle Light Waterless, and I got mine on Amazon. And Levi's does have an Amazon storefront, and to have an Amazon storefront, you can't just come in and be like, all right, I wanna make a Levi's and Amazon storefront. Like, you go in and it has like the whole, almost like, a Levi's website on Amazon. You have to have, I think, brand registry, something like that. So nobody can just come in and make a Levi's website. So I got them through the Levi's storefront because sometimes you will see that Levi's can be sold through like third parties. But if it's sold through the storefront or Amazon.com, you should be good. The black Levi wedges right here were sold from a shop box. It was the same link as a Tangle Light but it was just uh, sold, instead of Amazon.com being the seller, it was sold by Shopbop, which Shopbop is, you know, it's not like some shady third-party seller. I'm familiar with Shopbop, so nothing to worry about there. And if anything, you can return it. I have read reviews on Amazon saying these are fake, these are not real, the material is different. And I wanna address that briefly because I can see why people will think that. And maybe some people do get fakes, I don't know, but I have seen reviews on, before I bought these, I read so many reviews on the Levi's website. I read reviews on the Target website because Target does sell Levi's and then I read reviews on Amazon. And a lot of people will say the leather patch right here, it looks fake, it looks like a piece of cardboard, it doesn't look like this, it has like the red letters. And I'm gonna start a video of when we went to JCPenney yesterday and JCPenney has like a complete Levi's section and the tag on the jeans was the tag that people were complaining about and it was authentic Levi's sold at JCPenney. It was just, I feel like it was just a cheaper quality line. That's one thing that I noticed that all the Levi's that were sold at JCPenney, they all had the red tag, but I don't think that makes the difference. It was just the material. These are a premium jean. All the ones at JCPenney were like a thinner, very stretchy material, which is not what I was looking for. They don't sell the wedgies at JCPenney, so keep that in mind. If you order certain Levi's, it depends on the style, you might get a different type of jean. Like Levi's makes so many different styles that, you know, it's going to vary. But I don't think that you should be alarmed that it's fake because even on the Levi's website, people would complain that this tag right here, it doesn't say Levi's, it only has like the trademark logo, and then on Target.com, same thing, people were complaining about this, it doesn't say Levi's, and they felt like it was fake, or this, they didn't like that it looked fake. And these are like authentic sellers of Levi's. So I think it depends on the style that you get. It's going to vary. These are the premium wedgies, and they are amazing, I had no issues. Both of them have that same patch and they both have the Levi's the entire word but even if it doesn't I don't think that I would be alarmed I feel like if I just don't like them I would just return them but these have really really good jean material let me go ahead and try them on I have a black bodysuit on and I feel like that's going to give the best representation since these are higher waisted jeans so I'm going to start off with the Levi wedgies and Tango waterless and then I'll try the black version Try to lower the camera so you guys can see. As you can tell, they are pretty high waisted. They are fitted, I would say, about to mid thigh, a little bit lower than mid thigh, and then they start to kind of taper. So you can see they're not a straight jean, they're not a uh, skinny jean, they're like the perfect in between, exactly what I was looking for. And all three of these jeans are also ankle length, so they're not like really long. They're great if you're shorter. For me, I have longer legs, but I really like this look, so I don't mind it. And this is what it looks like from behind. For someone that is not curvy, I feel like these Levi's, the wedgie, are the perfect jean. I absolutely love them. I think they accentuate the tush in the perfect way. And then this is the side profile right here. It's really not too bad, but it is a little bit bulkier than the Zara just because you have buttons going all the way up. But it still feels like pretty snug and secure. And then I really love this wash. This is the Tango Waterless. 
and you can wear it with like loafers. I have some loafers here from Amazon that I got that are perfect for fall. They're a little bit of an investment, but they're really good quality and they look much more expensive than they actually are. So you can do something like this, like very comfy, cozy. And then I have this blazer, really oversized blazer that I got from Amazon as well. I haven't worn it yet because it just came in and I have to iron it and all that good stuff. So it's a little bit wrinkly, don't mind that. I feel like a good pair of jeans in an oversized black blazer. They're both such capsule wardrobe items and this one is very oversized. It has the padded shoulders. I think I got it in a size large because I wanted like a really oversized fit. I'll link it in the description box down below. Or you can swap out the shoes for sandals like this for like a date night. I feel like that would be really cute as well. These are from H&M. I think they're like a season old. I can't remember. This outfit right here is like you're good to go. It's like super basic, comfortable, but still, you know, feels polished and put together and I just love. And then these jeans, I feel like, are absolutely incredible. They did such a good job, but again, it depends on your body size and like your size and then what you're looking for. So these are the Tangle White. I'm going to go ahead and try on the black pair. I have not worn these yet. They just came in the other day. I read a few reviews on Amazon saying that these might feel tight at first, but they kind of conform to your body after wearing them. And I don't know, I feel like they might loosen up a tiny, tiny, tiny bit, but maybe not even because those other Levi's, the Tangle White, I wore those probably four times and I would like be sitting doing all that stuff. They're not, they don't feel restricted, anything like that. And I still feel like they really held their shape really well. Because I had so many jeans where I would wear them and then by the end of the day they're like super baggy. With the Levi wedgies, you shouldn't have that problem. So this is why I'd say stick to your size. But as you can tell compared to my bodysuit right here, it almost looks a little bit washed out, which I actually like. It gives it like that vintage feel to it. But otherwise, they're literally like exactly the same as the ones that I just tried on. Very comfortable, love the way they fit all around. It's just like I really wanted a black staple pair. So these are the same exact jeans but in black. And then let me try on the Zara ones. These are the Zara. They are a little bit more fitted, I would say, in the waist. And they also are a little bit more, they're a little higher, more higher waisted. More, they're a little higher waisted. They're higher waisted than the Levi wedgie ones. I think the Levi's would pro probably go up to like right here. Whereas these probably have an inch more, which should actually feel very comfortable. And then with the zip fly, they kind of like really keep everything in. They do look really nice from the back, but I still feel like the wedgies are a little bit more superior in like this whole area right here. I think they did a really good job with the wedgies, but these are a very, very close contender. And usually these jeans come in so many different shades. Sometimes you'll get like the rip portion. You can have black ones in the store that I saw. Some of them will have a raw uh, hem on the bottom. Some of them will have slits. They come in so many different styles, which I wanted to talk about because I ordered Zara Moffitt jeans uh, two weeks ago or so, and I got a size up. So I read so many reviews, talked to my friends, watched a bunch of YouTube videos, and then I looked on the website for these jeans and it said these jeans run small, something like that. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go up to a 28. I don't wanna risk it. We don't have Zara around here. The closest one is an hour away, which we went to yesterday because we were at kids' dentist appointments, but that's like a side point. So I said, let me go ahead and get a 28. I got a 28. I'll insert a video of what they look like. I mentioned them in a vlog, and they were just way too frumpy for my liking. They were just not the look that I was going for, so I returned them. And I thought, you know, let me go to the Zara in store and try them on. So I would say with the mom fit jeans, the tapered style, stick to your regular size. But then again, it also, you know, it depends on your body shape. Like it's hard. It's hard. So just go in store, try them on if you can. The nice thing with Amazon is that they do free returns and they also do try them for you buy for most sizes and styles. But these are the Zara ones and they have very close contender for the wedgie. I just think the wedgie fits a little bit better in this section. And I was just so pleasantly surprised. If you're just looking for like a good tapered jean where it like keeps everything in here very high waisted, then you'll probably love the Zara ones and they're cheaper. Although the light wedgies, I think I got for like $69 or something on Amazon, so it really wasn't that bad. 
versus the black pair, I think they were $89. So the price does differ. And this is with the blazer. So all these three I'm keeping 100% and I feel like there's going to be such staples in the closet. You can wear them time and time and time again. And usually with Levi's, they are good to go. Like you shouldn't have to worry about having to buy a new pair in the near future because Levi's are pretty decent um, jean brand. And then I heard the same thing about Zara. This is my first Zara pair, but I'm really impressed with these. And I'm telling you the fabric feels identical. It's kind of crazy. My hunt for the perfect pair of jeans is finally over. So I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out and thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in future videos.